Yes, good morning everyone. How are you all? Hope you are all fine at your home. This is your English teacher, Mr. Ismail. My dear friends, and today I am standing before you all with a past continuous tense. Whereas in the previous class of very theory, we have discussed that what is exactly the meaning of a past continuous tense, where we need to use, then again what is the formula of a past continuous tense. Then uh, in today's class, we are going to concentrate that where we should not use the past continuous tense. Often when making uh, the sentences or while framing the sentences and all, most of us are committing huge number of mistakes. When we are using the past continuous tense, by that time which form of a verb we are taking, that all the things are somewhat else we are forgetting. So in today's class, we are going to focus that where we should use the uh, past continuous tense and where we should not use the past continuous tense. And even moreover than this, we have we are going to be focused on the topics like as the positive sentences of past continuous tense and negative, then again frame question, question tag. So these are the four topics which we are going to concentrate in today's class. So let's focus that on what are the things the past continuous tense is going to teach us in today's class. Whereas the formula for past continuous tense is subject plus was bar were plus v1 plus ing plus object. I was writing an exam. This is one of the things which we have discussed in the previous class. So let us focus that up. initially where we should not use or where we should have to stop to use the past continuous tense so that we will focus. So first of all, we should not use the past continuous tense during the stative form of a verbs. Stative form of a verbs as already we have discussed in the previous classes of ours. The verbs are classified into two different types. One is a stative form of a verbs and another one is a action words. Action words like as a ride, cut, jump, drive, run. So these are the words which are showing an action. So that words, those are the words can be called as a action words. So stative verbs it means uh, the verbs which are indicating or the verbs which are describing the status of a mental activities or the status of feelings which the feelings we are having. Love, affection, hate, no, uh, no, K, no, double, no. So such kind of the words are there which these words are considering as the stative form of a verbs which are directly related to the feelings of a person or the mental status. So such type of the verbs are called as a stative form of a verbs and a stative form of a verbs we should not use in any continuation of tenses. Please remember the things. Let me recall one more time. Let me explain you one more time. The stative form of a verbs are there like as a no, can, would have no way, hating, owning, then having, then again, uh, yeah, wanting, needing, so such kind of the verbs are there which already I have given you a list of uh, the verbs in the previous class. As for those, the stative form of the verbs wherever are there are the verbs which are directly related to the mental status of ours or the feelings of ours. There we should not use any continuation forms. Uh, neither we can use the present continuous tense, no. Uh, then again, past continuous tense, no. Present perfect continuous tense, no. Past perfect continuous tense, no. Future continuous tense, no. Then future perfect continuous tense, not at all. So, during the continuation, wherever the continuous will come, no, there we should not use any stative verb. It cannot change. Hope you understand it. So, let's see some of the examples which are incorrect and uh, after uh, having glanced over that, we shall make it as a correct form of verbs. Let's see that. I was knowing him. I was knowing him for many years. Usually we are committing the mistake when we are using the language in our day to day life or in the routine life. When we are using the words, we are saying that I was knowing him. Such kind of things we are using, am I right? I was knowing him. I was knowing that. Uh, yeah, I, I was knowing that person. So such type of the words we are using. Do you think it is a correct form of a tense? Never. It's an absolutely wrong sentence. Because knowing, the no word what it is, that is a stative verb. So stative verb we cannot use in the present case, in the continuation of the sentences. I was knowing him for many years. Absolutely wrong it is. Then what should be the correct answer of it? The correct is, I knew him for many years. 
I was knowing is absolutely wrong. So correct word it should be the correct sentence is I need him. Present continuous tense if you are using no then definitely it is wrong. So the same no if you are using in the past tense, simple past tense then absolutely it is correct answer. See I was knowing him for many years. Wrong answer. The correct one word it should be I know him. I need him for many years. I need him for many years. This is what the, the correct sentence. Let's see second sentence. Susan was hating snakes. Susan was hating snake. Or Rahul was hating sandwich. Such kind of the words you are using. He was hating that. Now he is liking. If you are using this, absolutely wrong sentences. Hope you are understanding. So hating a steady form of a verb which is expressing the feeling of a person. So steady form of a verbs are never been using ing. Let's see that Susan was a hating snakes or you can call it Rahul was a hating sandwich, budgie or whatever the things will come in your mind that you can take it out. But a hating we cannot use an ing because it is a steady form of a verb that we cannot use into any continuation sense. So then definitely it is a wrong sentence. Susan was a hating snakes. Wrong sentence. What should be the correct sentence? The correct sentence is Susan hated the snakes or Ra hated sandwiches. Rahul hated budget. So such kind of the word you can use that it is also in the simple past. Haiti should not be used in the continuation form of a sentence. Let's see. Third example. They were owning a big car. Most of us are making this mistake, general mistake it is. They were owning a big car. They were owning a big car. Owning it's a feeling. Am I right? Owning it is a stative form of a verb. One, it is a stative form of a verb. So the owning it is there in a sense that definitely the stative form of a verb cannot be used in the continuation form. Stative form of a verb cannot be used because it is not at all an action. So therefore, it is absolutely wrong sentence. They were owning a car, big car or big car, home, something else, whatever the ideas are there in your mind, you can use it out. But only if you are using then absolutely wrong. Then what should be the correct answer? The correct is they want a big car. They own a big car. Again, simple past tense. The stative form of a verb will be there. Know that all the stative form of a verb whenever we are using into the sentences that we must have to use in the simple past. Let's see the fourth example. He was wanting to call you. He was wanting to call you. Then it is also a wrong sentence. What wanting it is a kind of feeling. It's a stative form of a verb. It is not at all an action. So therefore, then definitely this is absolutely a wrong sentence. He wanting to come. He wanting to, he was wanting to come to school. Wrong answer. He was wanting to write exam. Wrong. Then what should be the correct answer? He wanted to call you. Again, simple past tense. He wanted to call you. Simple past tense. Let's see the example number 5. Is there any confusions in this? If it is there, then please text me. Example number 5. She was needing help from her friends. She was needing help from her friends. Needing, it's a kind of a stative form of a verb. It is a feeling or the mental status. So therefore, it cannot change. We should not use this. If you are using this, she was needing the help, then definitely it is wrong. Then what should be the correct answer? She needed help from her friend. She needed help from her friend. So example number six, let's have a glance. He was having a computer. He was having a computer. So here my dear friend, you may get a little confusion sir. Sir, have it's a kind of a helping verb as we have already discussed in the present perfect tense. Am I right? Present perfect and present perfect continuous tense. In both the tenses we have discussed that I have as a helping verb. But my dear friends, remember these helping verbs sometimes they are acting like as or they will play the role of a main verb. 
In case if there is no main verb, then we are using it. For example, the friends may ask you that, had your dinner, had your breakfast, had it's a kind of a what? Helping verb, right? Then what the, our answer should be there? Yes, I had, had my dinner. Yes, I had, had my dinner. Helping verb plus main verb we have used there. Hope you are understanding the things. Let's see that. He was having a computer. So this we cannot use it into simple time. Uh, this we have to use, uh, we cannot use it into past continuous. Then what we have to make? We should have to use it into simple past tense. He had, you know there is no helping verb. Then directly we have taken the helping verb as in the form of a main verb itself. Have a little bit too. Ide entartha. Had, uh, sorry, have a little bit too. Ide Had a little bit too. Ide entartha. Illi have a little bit too. Helping verb by the carpe martaila. Have a little bit too. Main verb by the kelsa martaila. So main verb by the main verb by the helping verb by the main 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 verb by Nirvais make up with them. For example, school or the name of the principal or the headmaster accent is a red and corona. Other mother again, in charge of the operator or a person of the tare. Hagitaga, it must be taga in charge of the Vasa, in the tare. Our winter, you will get a one way there. Headmaster absent to the other in charge of the headmaster. I tell someone to the tare. Hope you understand the things, my dear friends. So let's have a class course. Is there any other I don't think so? Is there any doubts? So incorrect sentences and correct sentences. Stated form of verbs cannot be used in the continuation form of sentences that already we have discussed. Now let's focus towards the another part. That's the sentences which we are making into positive to negative, negative to question frame, frame question to question tag. Let's have a glance towards the sentence which is indication of the positive sentence. I was driving a car. Most of us are when you are riding the bike, we are not calling I am riding the bike. We are saying that I am driving the bike. Absolutely, it is wrong. So, driving in the sense, the four wheeler things, which we are, whichever will come, that we have to use. I was driving the car. Positive sentence. We were driving the car. Positive. She was driving the car. Positive. He was driving the car. Positive sentences. It was driving the car. Positive sentences. You were driving the car. Positive sentence. Then they were driving the car. Positive sentences. It's all indications of the positiveness. If I want to make any sentence into the positive to negative, what it should, what we must have to add? Say not. Let's see. I was not driving the car. Negative sentence. We were not driving the car. She was not driving the car. He was not driving the car. It was not driving the car. You were not driving the car. They were not driving the car. Was due to negative already we made. Then frame question how it should be? As I have told you, when we are making the frame questions, a helping verb should take the position of a subject and the subject must be replaced by the helping verb. So when the subject will be there, there we have to take helping verb and where the helping verb will be there, then we have to add subject. For example, I was driving the car. So we need to change it out to these two things only. Was I driving the car? Question mark. I was driving the car to was I driving the car? Question mark. Next time. We were driving the car. Were we driving the car? Question mark. She was driving the car. Uh, was she driving the car? Question mark. He was driving the car. Was he driving the car? Here itself we have to change the subject to helping verb, helping verb to subject. Next time. It was driving the car. Was he driving the car? You were driving the car. Were you driving the car? They were driving the car. Were they driving the car? Hope you are understanding the things. Then how we need to make it as a question tag? A question tag, sir. It's all positive sentence. I was driving the car. Positive sentence. If any sentence, when we are making the question tag, then if it is a positive, then we should have to make it into negative. If it is a negative, then positive, we have to make question tag. Let's say, I was driving the car. Was I? Was Sorry, wasn't I? The such kind of the things. I was driving the car. Wasn't I? We were driving the car. Weren't we? She was driving the car. Wasn't she? 
He was driving a car. Was he? Next, wasn't he? It was driving a car. Wasn't it? You were driving a car, weren't you? Next, they were driving a car, weren't they? Such kind of the things we have to use. Hope you are understanding the things. In the next class, we are going to focus that the present the perfect tense, which is having a lot of confusions in the tenses. The present perfect tense itself is a single tense which creates a huge number of confusions among the problem, among the students, just because of had as a helping verb or had as a main verb. These things we are going to discuss in the next class. Until then, please stay safe. Thank you.